All right, guys, happy Thursday. Um, I mentioned, maybe I might mention it in my last video, um, when I was at the uh, flea market last weekend, uh, my SGC order popped. Um, and uh, I was shocked at how fast it got done. Um, they checked in on Wednesday, September 9th, and it was shipped on Friday, I'm sorry, Wednesday, September 7th, and shipped Friday, September 9th. Um, so surprised at how fast this was turned around. It's only only 11 cards, um, but I was really, really surprised. Um, so it just goes to show that um, I think SGC is ramped up a lot, and maybe they don't have a lot of cards coming through the door, um, but they're getting orders done really fast. I just sent them nine more cards yesterday, um, hoping to get them done before I go to the Philly show at the end of the month. Um, so, you know, we'll see. Uh, but here are the results. Um, I, I'm really happy with these grades. Um, this was a really, this was the um, uh, Keen exhibit I found at the National, and I knew it would grade well. Uh, six and a half is a really good grade for exhibits. Um, they can get a little banged up, um, but I think they're only less than 10 higher, um, at least in SGC. I didn't check PSA's pop before. I'm sure they have some high examples, um, but a really nice example that I'm sure you'll see again in another YouTuber's video. Um, this is another card you'll see in another YouTuber's video. Um, this Greenberg I got from that REA lot got a one and a half, which uh, I was expecting. Great centering on this card. Uh, you do not see this card centered like this. Um, and the color is good. So um, you'll see that. Again, I will not spoil who. Um, a lot of these cards came from that uh, REA lot, including this um, really nice Mel Lott and a two and a half. I just love this this portrait of him. Uh, you'll see that card again in a little bit. This Mel Lott got a four, which I was pretty happy with. I bought this raw on eBay. Um, be surprised at how affordable a lot of his cards are. I, I've been looking at some of these these pre-war guys that are not in like the the Ruth Gehrig, maybe even Greenberg, or you know Dimaggio Williams era, or Echelon, uh, especially Garinger. Garinger has a lot of great cards that are very reasonably priced if you're looking for a pre-war guy. Um, his 33 Gaudi though is unlike I think unlike any other card in the set. Um, just beautiful image. The purple is great. 1.5. On the grade, I bought that with the um, 39 mil lot. This one was funny. I didn't really expect this grade. It has t these two stains, one right there on his lip, um, but it got a four. So um, this is for sale. Um, I was not anticipating keeping this card, um, but other than the stains, it's really nice. Maybe that's kind of why they gave it the grade they did. Uh, this was uh, by from. Uh, advised to me by Drew Lefty NDV10, who uh, he and Max are my kind of like friend and advisors um, when I come across some T206 stuff. So Ch uh, Titus is known for having the uh, only facial hair in the T206 set, um, and it is a 350 only subject. So his cards are not terribly easy to find, um, but there was a hoarder of his of this card. Um, that has driven the prices up. So, um, something to note about that. Another card from the REA lot, a nice 34 Gaudi Dizzy Dean. Just looks great in the holder. Um, this one I got from, uh, from the show I went to, a two and a half. Um, has a wrinkle here. Um, the color though is not as nice as the, as the three. You can kind of see how this color is a little, a little darker. The registration is better. But if you're, you know, keeping them from here, what card do you prefer? I don't know. I still, I think I prefer the three. <laughs> uh, here's the other Melot. This one's gorgeous. Um, I cracked this one from a GAI four uh, that I bought on eBay. And I got it in, and I'm like, oh, it's going to get either a three or a four, and uh, pulled the four. I think it helped because there's there are no creases on this card. 
Uh, last card in the order is a 33 Gaudi Lefty Grove. This was, again, from the REA lot. Um, some really, like, sneaky wrinkles up at the top here, but another striking image. A very classic 33 Gaudi card. There's the back. So, guys, thanks for watching. I know it's a short video, but um, have a really cool mail day coming in today that maybe I'll shoot a video for tomorrow. And we will uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.